A lot of guys don't care what the Jezebel do right before they meet the Jezebel or why they dealing with the Jezebel. They don't care who she dealing with. They don't care what she doing with the person she doing with. They just don't care. A lot of these Jezebels are dealing with multiple men. I mean, they're literally dealing with multiple men like it's nothing. And it's a lot of juices and bacteria and a lot of liquid is exchanged during this time. It's causing, it forms a lot of different strange phenomena in the body when you, the exchange of all these different foreign fluids from this person to that person. A lot of DNA is exposed, pretty trifling under a microscope. However, a lot of these Jezebels are, got a lot of telegony in their body. They got DNA from a lot of different guys because they're dealing with multiple guys. Guys seem to don't care about that. And these Jezebels know that they can do pretty much anything they want as long as they continue to look good and they want to do all they can to continue looking good even if they have to get operated on because they got so much power. They get so much power by looking good. They get so much power on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Their job, TikTok, whatever, by just looking good. They're not gonna give up that power without a fight, you know? So they're gonna continue to look for ways to, you know, to try to keep their shape going or to pack it and make stuff look bigger than what it really is. They know that, that they can find a, a weak guy if everything goes forward, you know, everything goes wrong, they can get up. There's always a beta male provider out there that's willing to take her in, you know, because he got low self-esteem and you're not, not saying that they don't deserve, you know, a good guy once they hit the wall and, or they're not looking as good as they used to look when they got babies by Pookie and Ray Ray, you know, they got, even if they professional, collegiate, a lot of them still deal with Pookies and Ray Ray because we live in an age where Jezebels, they smoke, they drink, they smoke all kind of stuff. So they're constantly dealing with Pookies and Ray Rays. Their plugs are Pookie and Ray Rays. They got plugs, when I say plug, their connection to get they, you know, to get the smoke, they connect their connection to get, you know, get their inhaler. You know, is with the Pookie and Ray Rays. So eventually, you know, they're gonna deal with Pookie and Ray Ray, try to get a discount from Pookie and Ray Ray. So they won't really deal with Pookie and Ray Ray. They're gonna get a beta male provider. A beta male provider is a guy that's gonna provide resources, money, but they he have no backbone, no masculinity. He has nothing that's going to, no backbone, no masculinity. You know, he has no man in his system. He's not gonna speak his mind or none of that. So you're dealing with a, a manly species that gonna sell his soul just for a woman, just for a Jezebel with a pretty, with a pretty, with a pretty face. You're gonna get all that done just before Jezebel with, with the pretty face. And it's to get regular, regular, regular cheeks. On. It's a lot, that's a lot of tongue biting. And within the first year of the relationship, he not gonna have no tongue because he's, he's biting it. Every time he know, he knows something not true, he's still doing it. It's sad. I'm Alan Williams, a really there. I'll holler at y'all later on.